Hi guys, hope you're doing great. Our today's question is an easy question from lead code called 2 sum 2 input array is sorted. So the question says given an array of integers that is already sorted in ascending order, find two numbers such that they add up to a specific target number. The function 2 sum should return indices of the two numbers such that they add up to the target where index 1 must be less than index 2. So that's the ordering of the indexes in the result. Note that your return answers, both index 1 and index 2, are not 0 based. That means we don't have to return like 0, 1. Rather, we have to return, if 0, 1 is the answer, we have to return 1, 2. You may assume that each input would have exactly one solution and you may not use the same element twice. So the numbers, for example, are 2, 7, 11, and 15, and the target is 9, then the output would be 1, 2, because 2 and 7 sum up to 9, and their indices are 0, 1. But since this is not 0 based, we have to return 1, 2. Okay? So um, this is a classic example of one of the approaches that is required to solve uh, these kinds of problems. And so... So this is on the list. This question is on the list. So these are the various ways you can use to so solve any question on sorted arrays. So please have a look, pause the video for a moment and come back. So yeah, I think um, as I was saying, this is a classic example of using two pointers. And as simple as this problem is, it is a very effective mechanism to solve a lot of medium and hard difficulty level questions on lead code. Um, hence, I thought this would be a good idea to bring this question up on the, on the uh, videos. So two pointers is applicable here because we have to search two elements which are meeting a given condition, which in our case is to sum up to a specific target number. Um, so let's get started with the implementation. So we would be, as a part of this approach, we would be taking two pointers, right? One that will be starting at the end and one that will be starting at the beginning of the array. And we will sum up the elements that are present in those indices. And if it is equal to the target, then great. We just add one one to those indices because that is zero based and we don't want the answer to be zero based. Uh, and we just return that. Otherwise, um, if the sum is less than the target, right, uh, and since we know that the array is sorted, so it means that we, we basically need to put in some more weight, right? So we would move our left pointer to right. That is basically we'll move one position ahead from the start and because that would be a, definitely a bigger value because this is sorted and leave that to where it was, the right pointer. Then sum up and see if it is equal, great. If, for example, it becomes more, then we want to lessen the value. So then in that case, we will move our right pointer to the left because we know that towards the left, the values are lesser than this and so on and so forth until we derive the answer because the question says that there is exactly one input so we don't need to worry about cases where there is no proper solution available right so let's just get started so we need first of all the result right that's what we will be returning mm -hmm. And we need two pointers, which is going to be left, that will be zero, and right, that will be um, numbers dot length. Okay. Um, okay. Now, while our left is less than right, we don't want them to go inside. Like we don't, we want them to be separate elements. We cannot use the same element twice, so we don't want them to go inside. So left is right than, less than right. What we do is let's just get the numbers. So it's let's call it L, which is the number 
on the left pointer and because this will help us to quickly write the code and not repeat writing this left right and again and again right so we derive that now we have to check if l plus r is equal to equal to target okay so in that case we have our answer already so what we will do is that we'll say result of 0 equals 2 left plus 1 right and result of 1 equals to right plus 1 because the question says that the return answers are not zero based and we just break because we're done else if L plus R is less than the target so it means we need to add some more weight correct so we just do an L plus plus and otherwise the only option left is to do an R minus minus I'm sorry it has to be right hmm. okay and once we are done with this, we'll just return our answer that is result. Okay, let's see if this works. Okay. Oh, yeah, it has to be minus one. Sorry about that. Okay. Cool. So um, time complexity O of n because we are just traveling the array once. Space complexity O of 1 because we are not using any extra collection here. So I really hope this question helps you build up this two-pointer logic for a lot of other harder problems in the future. And if you find this useful, please like, share and subscribe. Keep coding and take care, guys.